Welcome to Mexico City. Welcome back to the vlog. It's now our fourth day on our Mexico adventure, and today we're going to further explore the capital city, Mexico City, focusing on the neighborhoods of Juarez, Roma Norte, and Polanco. In the last three episodes, we left New York and spent three amazing days at Hotel Hyatt in Cancun, relaxing by the pool and enjoying the all-inclusive amenities, meaning eating, 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 and eating. We then journeyed to Mexico City to explore the urban center and focus on the diverse Mexican culture and food. Good morning! All right, it's our second full day in uh, Mexico City and uh, we're gonna continue exploring what this amazing city has to offer for us. We're starting the day in Juarez and are going to get some breakfast. What? Oh, so cute. We are at Tamales Madres to get some modern tamales. Breakfast. You're getting your favorite horchata coffee? What's in it, Paul? This is horchata with a salad of Shop sit next door just said to go next and get our coffee. So they to go get some also. We're waiting for our food. I, on the other hand, decided to try their house specialty coffee. The coffee is sweet and full of spices. No dairy, but a little sweet for me. But cozy. Maybe the, the next one will be. There's no dairy. No. Wait, what I think this is the chicken one. The so how is it? The green chicken. Pollo verde. Okay, I have more from Pete, and that's saying a lot. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Is it? The sauce is really good. Oh, I like this one. It's smoky and sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like very the dark. It's almost like more like a light, very light moment. There's like peppers. Or... Yeah, I like the dough. The blue, good, good. the blue oh, point is, uh, masa is better. That's dried out. Masia chili sauce. Oh, this mole sauce is intense. It's good or bad. It's good. I don't like mole. It's like hot chocolate. It's not sweet though. Is it mole chocolate? Cocoa powder. Males Madres was really fun. The food was inventive and interesting, but uh, the people here were so nice. They let us come and try some of the sauce in the back and some of the leaves that Paul was interested in. They were super generous and really nice. And the food was just really tasty and the setting was amazing. It's a great way to start the day. Just around the corner is a cute little chocolate shop specializing in local single origin chocolate products. By the way, they're, they're, design on these. they're famous thing for the fermented chocolate drink. So I got the uh, fermented hot chocolate. Oh, uh, this, he recommended just getting it with water so I can taste the fermentation better. And without the honey, because it's too sweet already, he said. But those are options you can get with milk and with honey. Oh, that was good. You can taste it, a little fermenty. It's good. I would, good. Want, I would want it darker though. I like it. It's different. It's a little different. It's not traditional. Oh, you can taste the fermentation yeah, of it. Yeah, you can taste the fermentation. Oh, by it's oxygen. in a little plaza, oh, so cool. it's really nice. But the compass and is so small, I can't see anything. No, but you just tap it. And you want now we're just sitting here enjoying okay. this. What is this? La Arifa Chocolateria was a really nice stop. Uh, the shop's super hyper local. They That's make something serious. unusual. And really interesting. Highly recommend dropping by and buying some hot chocolate mixes. So now we're just going to walk around and enjoy the neighborhood. We're going to make our way southward to Roma Norte, which is known to be a hipper area with lots of unique shops and refurbished mansions. What is this house? It's so uh, tree lined and beautiful with lots of shops and really interesting architecture. I think we're just going to walk around this neighborhood. We're gonna stop by Panaderia Rosetta, which is a really well known 
bakery and ooh, it looks crowded. Entrada. It's a casual bakery with some really unique items. You order at the counter where you can see all the baked selections. There are sweet and savory options with lots of seating. Oh my God. <laughs> we bought quite a few pastries when we considered we weren't very hungry. And I think we're just gonna dive in and eat it. Now, like on the street, now. You know, I suppose you, so you, you can get a chocolate one. He wanted the vanilla one. Like you know that chocolate? I don't like your chocolate. I like the vanilla one. You want pill? Okay. Oh, it's good. <laughs> you don't really see it. How is it, Peter? Good. I didn't report any of me eating it. It's good. Oh, oh. Wait, I think I have a. Uh, is it front of the I don't know which one's the front of the line. I think it's the other side. Really? Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh. Oh. It's good. Oh my god, this one's really good. That was really good. Oh my god, this is really good. Right. God. It's a. Uh, I think it's a blueberry. blueberry. I thought it was grapes. I think it was grapes. Oh, it's grapes? No, it's blueberries. It's blueberries. Why They're so it? big. It looks blueberries. Oh, it's good. It's the best so far. That was okay, but it's so good. Okay. It's because right. it's like sugary. I like and the hot. olive oil. There's like an olive oil on the outside. This one's so soft. What do you think of that one? This one looks really good. We had a plain one and a chocolate one to choose from. I chose the plain one. And it looks like it has a little bit of fennel or anise oh, in it. I think it's just a brioche with yeah. like grapes or. Oh. oh. Oh no, oh, this is really good. This is like fennel. Oh yeah, you see the little black seeds on it. Oh, that's oh, really good. The texture is really good. Oh, oh, it's mm. oh, it's oh, this is good. It's really good. Panadaria Rosetta was one of our favorite bakeries of the entire trip. Mm. That was really good, right? Mm. I like this this good that's actually my favorite. I like it a lot, yeah. Just walking around Roma Norte and checking out all these cute little shops. During a lunch break, another taco stand place where you order at the counter and then sit down. That's good. Eating. <laughs> Alright, first one I'm gonna eat is the chicharron tacos. We got the chicharron taco, we got the chicharron um, tacos, and then we got the especiales with beef and then, um, pork, chicken. It's like a good US Yeah. I mm. Because you grew up in the West Coast. This is really good. The tortilla is so thin. really good. It's dripping fat, which is a good sign. Do you like it? It's really good. What kind of meat is it? The pork and beef. The, the pastor. Mm -hmm. They call it chompa here. And then just the beef, grilled beef thing. This is special with the um, pastor and beef. It's so good. There's avocado, the chips in here, there's corn chips, there's like guacamole, there's onions. You get the stick. There's so much flavor. It's so good. Oh my god. And then that tortilla is still my favorite. It's so, so thin and crispy. It's so crispy. Oh. So I think this was by far one of our favorite spots so far in Mexico City. That meal was standing. Uh, these tacos are so great. Uh, we are now in Cha. Tupeca? I think I butchered that, the park. And uh, we're gonna head into the Museum of Anthropology next. The National Museum of Anthropology contains the world's largest collection of ancient Mexican art and artifacts. The exhibits are centered around a huge courtyard 
so it never feels too crowded. This year's ofrenda or family altar was featured prominently at the entrance. So, an hour later, we just finished the anthropology museum, and now we're gonna walk through the park for a bit. Uh, give yourself an hour. I mean, obviously we breeze through, breeze through some of the rooms. There's a lot to see here. It's actually a really cool exhibit. There's lots of different rooms showing the different eras of Mexican history and uh, a lot of artifacts. So definitely check it out while you're here. It's also cool just to be in the park. All right, so we're just walking through the park slowly. Uh, there's lots of shops and uh, activities going on. A lot of people walking through. The park is quite large, so clear enough time for it. We just enjoyed a small part of it, but really enjoyed the quietness. So we headed up to Polanco to check out this bad boy behind us, the Sumaya Museum. It's a free museum full of European art. We're not gonna go in today because it's a little too late, but the building, honestly, is worth checking out. Oh, it's huge, Of course, we never pass up on a supermarket, especially a pretty one such as this. That was a fancy supermarket. Alright, so we were at Bello Porto, which is a seafood restaurant in Polanco, in a really ritzy, nice shopping district, lots of cool stores. So we got it outside, it was really nice. We got some cocktails, we got um, some really good pina coladas, probably the best I've had this entire trip, so that was rewarding. We're here at the restaurant. Cheers, guys. Seafood restaurant. Cheers. With tea. Cheers. And uh, we start with a bunch of appetizers. Uh, appetizers, some of the highlights, things I really thought were interesting was this deep fried um, a squid, which um, actually was more like an octopus. Uh, with the chicharroni and that was really good and then we had this amazing guacamole on a big piece of chicharrones deep fried pork skin which you could break and have and crack there's also little nibbits of pork on there you want some guacamole see we have some chips over there it's a rice cake <laughs> oh and we also had a mac and cheese with seafood now that was a little rich for me. I'm not like crazy for mac and cheese, but that dish was pretty good and spot on. Well, you would hate it. Why? We also had some nice tomatoes to balance everything off. Um, yeah, and so it was really tasty. Then main course. Main courses, we had some huge stellar dishes. We had this burger. It was a short rib and octopus that was made into a patty. That was good, a little on the rich side, but um, Pretty tasty. We had a seafood stew with rice. We had a fried fish that was um, uh, grilled and then covered in this beautiful sauce. Everything was just so overwhelming, but so good. And unfortunately, we didn't finish eating everything. We also had tortillas and salsas and uh, so much. And to top it off, we then went across the street to Amoro. We got to get some of the famous um, Churros con chocolate. Honestly, this was a great ending for the night. It's such a good deal. I had four turtles and a cup of hot chocolate. And the hot chocolate was like not too sweet, and nice and bitter and thick. Yeah, the whole thing it was like a hundred pesos. So such a good deal. It's hot chocolate. Hey, can you can you take a picture in front of the sign and do it? Pretty good. Okay. We gotta get some rest. Tomorrow's our last full day. So have a good night. See us tomorrow in Mexico City. Don't take my sunshine away. Oh, you got that. One bite, it's so good. Chapultepec. <laughs> Chapultepec. Chatupec. You know we're just gonna hit that last part. <laughs> Chapultepec. I can't look at you, I'm like getting nauseous.